Hey friends, welcome back. Uh, today I'm going to talk about something very important which is called DARK. D-A-R-Q. I have come across this term uh, quite recently and I thought I should convey about this. D-A-R-Q. What is it? Uh, this is a very important stuff which industries are trying to follow and this is nothing but a guideline or an input. DARQ is set of emerging technologies which tech companies will need to adapt. Without this adoption, I don't think tech companies will get a lot of business for them to go ahead further. So, DARQ corresponds to distributed ledger technology, artificial intelligence, extended reality and quantum computing. So, D is distributed ledger technology, A is artificial intelligence, R is extended reality and Q is quantum computing. These four are considered to be the fabulous four and they together are referred as DARQ. Well, D is distributed ledger and that's nothing but a replicated, shared, synchronized digital data which is geographically spread across multiple sites, countries or institutions or persons. So it's not like traditional approach where it is all centralized storage. Now there is no central administrator and it's something like totally decentralized. And it can be across several uh, locations, it can be across multiple participants and that's what is called distributed ledger. Mm -hmm. And the cryptocurrency and blockchain are the best example for the distributed ledger terminology. A, we all know what is it. A is artificial intelligence and mimicking human, uh, mimicking human behavior, mimicking human intelligence is what is called as A. For example, when you want to cross the road, you will look both the sides, you will see if there are any traffic which is happening in front of you and you will cross very safe. Same is the case if you make this to be done by a system, to be done by a machine, we call it artificial intelligence. ML, DL and NLP are some of the wings of A, which I can quickly refer to. And A is going to drive the future and about 75% of the total systems are going to get driven completely by A, is what experts say in near future. Well, what is extended reality? We know what is VR, we know what is AR, mixed reality we know. Now, XR is nothing but the umbrella where you get all these AR, VR and MR coming under one umbrella. Extended reality is an umbrella where we get the augmented reality, the virtual reality and the mixed reality, all this together packed. They come under one shed. They are under one, one roof called as extended reality and virtual reality will immerse you completely into the experience and you will not know what's happening in the outside world. Augmented reality will be overlaying. You will still know what is happening in the outside world but it will have digital content inside. Mixed reality is going to give you a better experience. This will make you feel better it will break the boundary between real and imaginary stuff and it's, it's, it's a better, uh, you, you will get a better feel. You will feel like you are doing things really but it's, it could be imaginary. So when you combine all this together, the AR, VR and MR, all this together, they come under one package called as extended reality. And Q is quantum computing which is an area of computing which is totally focused on developing the computer technologies and the systems based on quantum theory. Uh, this is one area where we get a lot of research papers coming in. More PhDs are being produced in this area and if you want to do PhD probably you can choose this area based on your interest. That's it. We have seen what is D, A, R, Q. D is distributed ledger. A represents A. Uh, R represents extended reality. And Q represents quantum computing. Thank you very much. I hope you like the session. If you like the channel and the content, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you.